Hi guys, I'm Tracy. Thank you for joining me today. So I wanted to go over some of the, or just one of the spring trends that I've been reading a lot about. And there are a number of them, but I don't think a lot of them are really going to work for me. Like there's the neon trend and the pastel trend, but something that I can, um, get on board with is the statement blush and a lot of the pictures from the the spring runway um, show models with a lot of blush and a lot of it carrying up um, along this part and sometimes even the eyes I know I've seen Natasha Denona do a lot of looks like that um, another thing that I've been seeing is like a really strong highlighter you know right here and you know this area right here kind of um, kind of magnifying the blush look so I'm gonna do that right now I didn't put highlighter on and right after this I'm going to um, do the little tutorial on how I did the blush with two different kinds of, br of brushes so you don't need a certain shape brush but um, I'm gonna show you guys two different types of brush that I think are really good a little bit easier to achieve um, this look so I, I did um, the round flat on flat brush this one on this side and then I did the angled brush this one on this side so I know it's not like super bright on camera but in person it is so the lights are kind of drowning it out but I'm going to do this I'm going to use the Natasha Denona um, this mini rose um, duo highlighter and blush duo and I love this one I'm just I've been using it so much so I'm just gonna do it like normal and this highlighter is pretty intense and I'm using the Bisciotto BH1 and I used a brush guard that's why it's so tapered and I do like it like that for I've been using it to like powder under the eyes and to do highlighter so that shape really works for for what I'm doing right here I see a lot of like looks like this really highlighting this part of the face kind of even like carrying it higher to the hairline so there that's how the round flat brush kind of what you can expect on that and then this one I'm going to do the highlighter here the same way I feel like this side came out a little bit more contoured and I usually do a little here it's not like the trend but there so I hope you guys can see that that's my attempt at the spring makeup trends and then one of my cheeks is a little higher this one so I know it's not like exactly the same and then if you guys are interested I'll do one with the other brush shapes which are one that I like is the wispy, like these, the really floppy ones. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I'm going to be showing the differences between how I use my angled brush, so an angled like this, versus a flat and round, which I'm gonna consider this, the, the Bisciotto BC1 which is very similar to the Hakuhodo B110. These are your classic, you know, flat round blush brush, bronzer brushes. I think these are one of the more easier shapes to work with. And if you're getting into blush, I, I highly recommend starting out with this shape. I think these are a little bit easier than some of the other shapes I'm gonna talk about. And then on this side, I'm going to do an angled brush. So yeah, flat and round here and then angled on this side. And I have these two. One is the Bisciotto um, BH3, uh, 
three. I, I'll put the, put it below, and this is the B five twelve from Hakuhodo, and they're pretty identical in shape. This one is a mixed hair, and this is dyed psycho goat hair. But I do think they're very very similar, like the feel, the performance, and um, similar to these two. I think the Bisciotto is slightly softer. I'm gonna start out, and this is just how I do it. I do bronzer first, and then I do blush. And I don't always use the same brush, but you can, as long as you're cleaning it really well between uses, I think it's totally fine. I'm gonna be using the LYS Powder Bronzer in medium. And just start by warming up this side of my face and I usually do pat in general. I feel like for spring, you know, people are starting to put a little color in their face. Okay, so that's the bronzer I'm gonna and then I'm gonna use this really beautiful Laura Mercier um, Bellini blush the color in in infusion and this is a very light blush so I'm gonna have to build it but hopefully you can see how it's applying And the trend kind of is to like carry it up the side of your face. I did powder underneath because my I use the NARS reflecting light reflecting foundation. It kind of stays tacky even after it's kind of dried down. So just letting you know there's some powder under there, not a lot, just a little. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little extra because I know these lights kind of drown all the color out. So there, that's... In person, it's a lot brighter. See how that kind of just gives a very natural flush, not in a big area, but you know, kind of like in between. Now I'm going to show um, how I use the angled blush brush. And this one I tend, I tend to swipe. Um, I'm not sure why, it's, it's just how I have come to use these brushes. And I feel like when you use a brush like this for your bronzer and blush, it kind of creates a little bit more like definition. I think those work a little faster. See how that kind of worked a little faster. And I'm putting, I'm putting it on like this. And then I do tap out. This is a very powdery bronzer formula. So, so I do it like, see the angles like this. There. So that's just the bronzer. And I pretty much do the same with the blush. It's just, I concentrate it, you know, right right here i'm going to use it like this i use it right here kind of come around with that is enough the difference 
and how it looks. So I feel like on, you know, on this side, it's kind of like makes your face look maybe a little bit rounder, kind of brings out your cheeks, which is fine. Even though you have really full cheeks, I think it's, you know, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to, you know, change the shape of your face. And this side is with the angled. So I feel like it's, it kind of like creates a little bit more definition, but I hope that kind of shows you guys the difference. Okay, and then I will um, uh, do another one with the, the wispy, which I consider these wispy, and then the um, round um, domed ones, like the Chikohoto Z8, and I have other ones. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I was thinking last night and I want to put in, um, you know, how to create this look with a domed blush brush, which is like this, the, the Cheek Pro or the GSN 4, because I know these are really popular types that I'm sure a lot of you have. And the paddle shape. So here I have the G5545 and then the B505 which is just like a thicker version, but you see how they're kind of flat, flatter than the round flat. So I'm gonna try, I'll try this, I'll try this on this side, and then I'll try the dome on the right. And if it doesn't come out, then you guys will be seeing this. Let me see, I'm gonna start with the, I'll do the GSN4 for the bronzer, and then I'll move to the smaller one, the Cheek Pro, for the blush. And I do feel like the Cheek Pro is really good if you want to um, really get your blush to stand out. I think that the shape, because it's not completely round, I think that's really good. And it's a fairly dense brush. So I'm talking about the Cheek Pro. Here's the bronzer. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use actually this um, pink blush by Suku. So this is how I use the Cheek Pro. I just um, stamp, right, runway looks. They had it kind of coming all the way onto above the brow. I'm gonna pick up this kind of highlighty part and then buff it a little bit. I really like these Suku blush. Um, they're called Pure Color Blush. They're so good. I know they came out with a different formula called the, the Melting Blush, which I'm sure is amazing. I know I'll try it at some point. There is the side with the domed brushes. There's nothing. And so now I'm gonna use the, the paddle shape brushes. I'm gonna do the bronzer with the, uh, the B505 and then the blush with the G5545. I'm really glad I picked up this LYS bronzer. I forgot how much I liked it. I like how it's really matte. I just prefer a matte bronzer. And it's very powdery, so I guess that's good if you want to use a brush that's not the, the best at picking up powders. Now I'm gonna switch to the G5545. It's just a flatter, less dense version. I've had this one a little longer, so I'm more comfortable using this one for blush, or just more comfortable using this one. I'm 
I'm going to go in with the little highlighty part. It's interesting this brush is not um, creating a sheen the way the, the Cheek Pro did. It's just staying matte. Let me try a thicker one, see if this will give you a little bit of a sheen. Expect. This is the Cheek Pro, and this, this is the two um, paddle shape brushes I have. So I could already tell, like in the viewfinder, this side looks more contoured, which I kind of expected. And then this side looks a little more like flushed. I feel like it, it's less concentrated, it's more spread out, which makes sense because I'm using a pretty big surface area to get that. Whereas this one is, is much smaller, I'm just kind of concentrating it right here. So it just depends on you know your preference, what you feel like. I tend to go with a more gradual blush look with a brush like this, but every so often, you know, to kind of give myself a stronger um, blush look, I'll do a, a something like this. So I'll do a little bit of highlighter just to complete complete the look. I'm gonna use the same one right here. So this is the final look with the different brushes. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing seeing this tutorial. All right, so I have one more because this is a, um, a favorite of a lot of people's. I get a lot of questions about the Chicota Z8. So I'm gonna use this for bronzer and blush and Last night I remembered I had this Patrick Ta blush um, palette and so I'm going to use maybe the pink, I'm going to use the pink one, but first bronzer. This is going to take a while so I'm going to just, you know, speed, speed through it, but using the same bronzer, the LYS and medium and then the Patrick Ta powder formulas.
so that is blush and bronzer with the Z8. And I would say in comparison to the other brushes I've been showing, I would say this one takes the longest just because of the way the hairs, you know, they're so soft and they don't apply a lot. Um, what this brush is good for though are formulas such as, you know, the LYS bronzer and the Patrick Ta powder formulas. These are very powdery, so you have to use a light hand, but I think when it comes to really powdery formulas like this, if you're going to be using a, like, a, you know, fairly firmer brush like this or the Cheek Pro, these might be, this might pick up too much and it might apply um, too heavily. So that's my little tip for working with powdery formulas. And I personally try to avoid um, that type of formula because I feel like it's very easy to overdo it when you're working with that kind of um, you know, powdery blush and bronzer, but I actually like both of them these these products But I do notice because of the powderiness. I I don't reach for these very often I've been reaching for this video But like in real life very rarely do I pick those up, but I hope that kind of shows you how How I use this brush to do the um, bronzer and blush and I, I really like it I think what I use this brush, my makeup tends to look more natural um, versus the other brushes. And that's probably because I don't have the patience to build, you know, that long. Uh, one good thing is if you're using like a matte um, blush, when you buff with this brush, it does give it a sheen. So if you can see that, um, these blushes are definitely not shimmery. They have a matte finish, but I feel like with this you can kind of give it a little bit of that shine you know without putting highlighter on so that was the chikohoto z8